What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. The frustrating reality is, is that if you are a woman and you want to date men, you have to accept that you will have to teach them. Fellas, welcome teach back. Teach us what? Today. <laughs> teach us what? Chat, chat, what do you guys need to be taught? I'm keeping a buck. I feel like we know what it is because women know what to expect from a man, but women don't know what men expect from them. So if anybody needs to be taught, I think it's y'all. I got a serious question. So if I'm fucking we talking, dating with you period i'm going to cook clean i'm going to do your laundry i'm just going to do that because as a woman that's what i Chat, like. let me know do you like the big eyelashes like that i'm gonna keep it a buck it's just giving butterfly vibes i just don't understand i can't even like i can't even see your eyes like to do um but women be like oh you're giving him wife energy this that and the third you're doing too much too early he's not gonna what is girlfriend energy what the fuck am i not supposed to be doing well, here's the thing, dude. <laughs> Ladies, you need to have the prerequisites to be a wife. So being a girlfriend is a, is a good first step, and then a fiancé, and then a wife, and then hopefully you reach the maximum potential of being a mother. We can only hope, but the thing is... Ladies, you becoming a wife, you have to have prerequisites to get the job. So cooking and cleaning, that's part of it. <laughs> I would just be confused. Ain't this what you're supposed to do so that they could be yes. like, oh, I want to make her my wife because she just do everything I need her to do? Exactly. If you would show me and you're not cooking for him... You're not cleaning. You're not doing this. Not doing that. Why would he want to make you a wife? He's going to be like, this bitch don't even do the bare minimum. Preach. I mean, she might have the crazy eyelashes, but she's she's speaking some facts here. I'm like, what am I not supposed to be doing? In a relationship. And it's the bull nose ring for me. It's like, ladies, if you take out this gaunt jewelry in your face, it looks like if you got in a fight with a magnet, you would definitely lose. <laughs> but like... Take out the face jewelry. Take the nose ring out. Take take the take the stud out. Take the bull nose ring out, and then like do like very minimal makeup. You can have your nails done. Don't have them super long. You know, maybe have some earrings, but don't do the eyelashes. Don't do all this fake stuff. Like, ladies, you're so fake, but you want us to keep it real. And it's like you're gonna attract a certain type of man if you're wearing all this crazy gaunt jewelry and looking so ridiculous it's just men are attracted to your natural feminine look and the more you enhance it the more you don't look like what we like wife pregnant by another man expects husband oh my lord you just told me that you just got pregnant by another guy and we're supposed to be married but you know what that don't even matter because we got a baby on the way so we can be able to take care who of has you. a baby on the way i about to say i have a baby on the way yeah you have a baby on the way yes but this baby can also be yours what are you talking about what you mean can also be mine <laughs> this baby can also be yours <laughs> It's like Oprah and it, you're getting a baby and you're getting a baby. Come on, honey. I didn't get you pregnant. Somebody else and, did. But right now, that doesn't really even matter. We have a baby that's about to come into the world. You have a baby that's about to come into the world. You have a baby that's coming to the world. Baby that's to the world. We don't have father. anything that's coming to the world together. Exactly, but you're going to be a great father. Who's the baby father? That doesn't even matter, bro. Who's the the gaslighting, but you're going to be a great dad. He's going to love you so much. Man, too bad that baby's not mine. <laughs> baby father. It doesn't you're right, it doesn't matter because it ain't me. And I'm not taking care of it. Why not? So what you gonna do? Why what a king. What you, you gonna do? What you plan on doing? Just, no. So you're just saying you're just gonna abandon this baby? You abandoned me when you decided to go out and get pregnant by somebody else. Ooh. You didn't care about She's looking for a hero. I can be your hero, baby. Good on him for not simping. This marriage? You didn't care about me? All you okay, cared about was yourself. I can't forget that's that's something that's, that's something that's unforgivable to me. Is it yeah, Chad, I agree. Like, if your girl steps out on you, cheats on you, and has a baby by another man, is pregnant by another man, is that unforgivable? I'm going to keep it a buck. If a woman cheats, unforgivable. It's absolutely I'm unforgivable. Because men and women cheat for different reasons. I think women cheat emotionally, where men will cheat physically. No, 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 no. Oh, now you care about being my wife. Like, how long have you been cheating on me? This whole time, I think that we're being married, and we're together, and we're committed, yeah, you and you've been out here going out having and getting pregnant. But listen though, the baby that's gonna come is definitely gonna change all of this. This is not about to change nothing. thing. Yeah, it, no, you're right. It is about to change something. Exactly. It's gonna, it's gonna change everything. It's gonna change. Everything. Happy, it's gonna. Happy, it's gonna, it's gonna happy family. We're not gonna. We're nothing. We're, nothing. we're not gonna be anything. So you're good. Hey, good on this man. Good on him for for not falling for it. Loki, does somebody want some jerky? I got some jerky. Some beef jerky. These are dog jerky. Sit. Wait. Free. They smell atrocious though. <laughs> They smell really bad. So now my fingers smell like, um, I don't even know what that is. 
not you are going to be in a happy family with this guy that you got pregnant by. I bet he's yeah. not even in the picture. He doesn't he's even He's absolutely. Matter. I'm not in the picture. No, you are. I'm not. Picture. I don't have anything to do with this. Why not? Because You're trying to make me want to take care of your. You want me to take care of your child. Your child. That's your child. That's not my responsibility. I am caring a child not, for you, though, right not, How are you caring a child for me if you got pregnant by somebody else? Because hmm. that doesn't even matter. Like, you didn't even let me know that you were trying to get pregnant. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Anyone can see. <laughs> but, that, but I am now, so that's all that matters. Yes, it what matters is you need to figure out what you're going to do with your child, with this man, and I have nothing to do with it anymore. Man, this, this is your problem. I'm about to say, no, this is going to be our, our problem. What you talking no, about? It's not, I no, it's not. I have nothing to do with this. And it's crazy to me how you it, think that I'm actually absolutely supposed to be taking to care of your of this child. Why because I didn't get you. I'm not the one to make the, the baby with you. I'm, it's not my child. I don't know it doesn't matter. Just you me. did all the work, and guess what? You did all the work, and you can continue to do the work without me. I'm gonna say, I you have can, nothing to do with this. You can take care of this child. I can, but I'm not. Why? Because I'm not. I didn't get you pregnant. What are you saying? What, you sound Why so, wouldn't I want to take care of a child that's not mine? Stupid. <laughs> crazy right now. What do you mean? No, why not? I'm Wait a minute. Is she about to be a single mom? It seems as so. How are you okay with cheating on me, though? Let's stick to the fact that you went and cheated on me. How, let's stick to the fact that we're married. You cheated on a married Ooh, man. That's bad. You stressed, it, you stressed yourself out. You did this. You put this on yourself. You should have thought about that when you decided to go cheat on your husband of 10 years with somebody that you won't even tell me who it is. 10 years? They don't even matter. They they are nobody. It don't even matter. That doesn't, that's not my problem anymore. That's not my problem anymore. That's not my, This is your problem now. We were supposed to be married. Man, we are supposed are to be married. a family. We're not anymore. Man, I don't. I, I can't support somebody going out cheating on me and getting pregnant. Oh my god! Hey, look at how you acting. Like you don't even seem like you even care. I do care. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't act like you care. You seem like you care more about financial stability. I guess you can't take care of it, huh? And that's why you're telling me. No, that's no for real. Like literally, this could be a partnership here. Like this literally a blessing. No, this is this isn't gonna be anything. I think that we need to. Consider this the... is a blessing from God? <laughs> you cheating on me and getting pregnant by another man? Man, I guess I get my blessings mixed up, chat. <laughs> so, reconsider some things. Right. Um, right. I'm not taking care of anything. And I'm not, I, have, I don't want anything to do with the child. And I don't want anything to do with you, actually. I don't want to have anything to do with the child or you. So, you have to figure it out on your own. You have, I'm, a, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. But guess what? I just want the world to see what type of person that these yeah. women are. Oh my we gotta protect ourselves against women yeah. like this. We have to she's a runner, she's a track star. Protect no, ourselves against women like this. We can't trust them. Let this be an example to, for men to make better decisions in the future. Man, this, man, is, this is the example of a woman you don't want to be with, child. fellas. Take man, heed. Take care of this kid. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So I know marriages go through things. Some things are forgivable and some things aren't. And this Chat, let me know. Is if your girl got pregnant by another man, she cheated on you, got pregnant by another man, is that forgivable? I'm gonna keep it a buck, it's not. Stupid. You can't you just can't forgive that. Because if you do forgive that, that's like the biggest one right there. Betrayal. Betrayal of your loyalty. When you get married, it's a whole different ballgame. Now, when y'all are dating and you're in a situation ship and you know you're like you're blowing her back out and maybe she's seeing other guys or <laughs> That's a little bit different, but when y'all are actually together and you're married and you have a union with the government and God, I feel like things are a little bit different and there's certain things that are just absolutely unforgivable. But chat, let me know. Would you forgive a, <laughs> your wife if she got pregnant by another man? <laughs> and would you step up and raise that baby? Personally, I would not. Do you guys give someone before giving up on the spark? I'm specifically asking straight women who date straight men. I'm asking because I am personally on a journey this year to judge I love it when a woman tells her bop lore on a journey she's a runner she's a track star less quickly and write people off less quickly and I've been really working on that but I'm wondering if there's a certain number of dates that you guys give or it's just a feeling I tend to think that I'm right this is the thing I've never been <laughs> I've never been wrong you've never been wrong stupid this is what I'm saying, ladies. You think out of 300 arguments, you're 300 and 0. You're the modern-day Floyd Mayweather of arguments. <laughs> Never taking an L. Like, come on, dude. Like, even she... Look at her face. Even she knows. With that shit-eating grin. 
that what she's saying is absolutely ridiculous. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! You're capping. You've definitely been wrong. You just have a big ego. And you're a child. That's why I say women grow old. They never grow up, dude. Spoken like a true Virgo. But Oh, I, my I, God. And then blaming it on a zote. You think because of a moon phase, <laughs> you get to act the way you act? This is why I hate people that like justify the way they act with a zodiac. You're thinking because of a moon phase and the way the, the stars are that you can just be an ass. Stupid. You can be rude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't agree with that at all. I think I think astrology is just a, a funny way to to make women justify the way they act. I don't know. Maybe I have given up on people too quickly sometimes. So I'm just wondering, like five, like six Ooh. after you smash. She's a uh, runner, she's a anyway, star. here's my outfit. Kate Saint Laurent. This is Lisette, I think. I think it's very cute. Anyway, here's my outfit. Dada must, Daddy must have been a carpenter. Fired. How can she just switch? I'm gonna do like a brown Stella McCartney boot. Okay. This is one. Is of she manic? <laughs> is this chick crazy? <laughs> but um, let me guys, let me let me let me put you guys on game real quick. You want to get a girl to really like obsess over you? Um, do the zodiac thing. I always always ask a girl her zodiac and be like, "What's your zodiac sign?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm a Virgo." And of course, just tell yours or whatever and be like, "Oh, I'm a Libra." And then straight go into, "Oh my God, I looked up our combat compatibility. We are like so compatible." Like every like, what are you into? And then just open it up. Like women will absolutely eat up this zodiac stuff, and even pull it up on your phone and look up compatibility and like read through it, bro. You can get a woman. You can like brainwash a chick so quick with doing the whole zodiac compatibility. Because the thing is, most women actually believe that jargon. Um, when I, you know, I don't. It's just it's just bull jive. It's ridiculous. But now nah, I would I would I would definitely leverage that on a first date with a chick, bro. It's it's great. Let's, I had to put you guys on game though. How to play the game with men and when. All right, let's see. Plenty of women that watch my content and, you know, there's a lot of you that still want to be involved with men. And like, I worked in the field. I was a dancer. Like I created content. Like I've- She's a runner. She's a track star. I love it. I love it. Done all of the things that has put me in the realm of dealing with men. In my humble opinion, you are still decentering men when you deal with men like a game, when you know how to play the game. So I'm gonna teach you how to play the game. Wait, are, are, are you alone though? <laughs> how are you gonna teach somebody how to play the game and win when you even got a man? Stupid. Huh? And you win the game if you still choose to deal with men. Before I get into it, me personally, I'm exhausted, okay? I'm exhausted of playing the game because playing the game takes energy, okay? Because in order for a woman to play the game with the yeah, man... Yeah, playing games is childish. Chat, let me know. I don't play games. I did back in the day, telling about my bop lore here. But nowadays, I don't. If I was trying to meet somebody in my 30s, I'm not playing no games. I'm cutting straight to the point. And she has to become like a man in in the head mentally no. she has to become a man and for a lot of women that is too much work i am steve harvey come out with a book think like a man no ladies be a woman stop thinking like men that's why you're alone i'm about to be 32 years old i played the game i got what i wanted out of the game if i want to dibble dabble in the game i'll play it again but me personally i don't feel like it but to the women who still want to play the game i got you Okay, first thing is first, you have to quit taking in any form of romanticism. And when That I sounds so healthy. <laughs> Stop being genuine and taking in from an ex-dancer. Stupid. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Mean that, I mean through the media. Quit listening to love songs. Quit reading okay. fantasy books. Okay. Quit obsessing over these male celebrities. Okay. Quit taking in any media that portrays men as being romantic, loving, kind, nurturing people. Because it's fucking fake. It's not real. When you quit taking in that media, you have now lifted the veil. And now you'll be able to see men for who they really are. When, when you take away the media that's filling up your brain with this picture in your head of who men are, you are not going to be emotionally attached to men any longer. Naturally, it is going to... 
That sounds really healthy. Chat, let me know. Does that sound healthy to you? Like killing all emotions, looking for a relationship? That doesn't, it just doesn't sound good to me. Detach you emotionally for men because the way that women get emotionally attached to men, they're not actually getting attached to the man. They're getting attached to who they want the man to be, who the they potential. are expecting the man to be. The image in the fantasy that was created in their mind on who they are believing this man to be. If you never have the image in your head, you don't have anything to attach to emotionally. This is how wow. women are able to sleep with men or use men for their money and just walk away when the shit stops. Like me, I love a good love bomber. I love a good love bomber. You wanna know why? Because when the bombing stops, I leave. When the gifts stop, when the gifts stop, I leave. When the romanticism- That's so conditional. And it, this is this is such a horrible mindset, in my opinion. When the gifts stop, I leave. What about the other things that are supposed to be great in a relationship, like love, being romantic, chivalry, open the door for your girl, knowing that she's not a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. Knowing that you're the only one seeing her body. She's exclusive to you. Building a bond, building a friendship. Where is all of this? It sounds very transactional, but you know, you attract what you are. And this is why I say women are marketers and men are salesmen. If she's a dancer, she's only going to attract men that are looking to trade money for her body. So no wonder she thinks this way. You're around men that are only looking for one thing. And they're looking for your body. So it makes sense you feel this way. Stops, I fucking leave. I got shoes, jewelry, clothes, all types of shit. And still feels empty on the inside. That's what I'm saying. Material things don't make you feel love. Now, I could fill up your closet in your house, but you're not going to feel love from that stuff. Man, when it stopped, I left because I already know that they're not leading in with those types of things, with that type of treatment from a genuine place. They are yeah, because you were a dancer. Stupid. They're buying you things because they know you're a money hungry 304. Come on. Doing it to hook you. Men can only win the game with you if you allow them to allow you to get hooked. The man that approached you, that's being nice to you, giving you all this lip service, giving you all these lines about how he likes you and what he sees in you, understand he's playing the game, okay? The number one reason and the only reason why he came to you was because he wanted to sleep with you. When women- mm, that's, that's for you because you were a dancer, right? <laughs> maybe other women that like maybe work in the office, work like a corporate job. Maybe they don't have those types of men come after them, but for you, it makes sense. Complain about being lusted over, it's a dumb complaint. It's a wasted complaint. Men, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Men don't look at women and just think, oh, that's the type that I'm gonna marry. That's the type that I'm gonna just sleep with. They're lying. Chat, let me know, because I think we do. When I met Cass, I thought, man, she could be a good mother. Now, of course, there were some other things that I wanted to do, um, but I saw a lot of potential in her as far as like, there was a lot of qualities that she possessed that I knew I wasn't good at. And I thought, man, she, she actually could be a good wife and a good mother one day. I looked for the end game when dating her. Um, a lot of women, we, we take you at face value because that's all you can, that's all you can freaking offer is good coochie. So that's what we take. What you offer is what we take. So if you, if that's all you're given, that's, I mean, as us as men, we're simple creatures. When they say that, they look at they look at most women as a woman that they would want to sleep with. So just know and understand that he only approached you because he wanted to sleep with you. So when you're having conversation with That's this man, and such a horrible mindset, dude. You know that you can learn to disassociate. This is what men do with women so a man has to try to play the game to make you feel like he's actually interested in you as a person this is why they want you to have these conversations this is why you're yapping so much during these dates because they want you to believe that they actually give a fuck about your thoughts your feelings your dreams your hopes your aspirations they are pretending Okay, they don't give a fuck about any of that. I've had men just straight out admit this to me. I literally have it in text messages of men literally telling me that, you know, I'll, I'll give you the drinks. I'll have the conversations with you. But really, I just want to bang you. So learn but you were a stripper. 
That's what I'm saying. Like her, her view is so convoluted because she's attracting a certain type of man. Learn to disassociate when they're talking. Think about something else, okay? And when they ask you a question, just be like, oh, yeah, that's great. Like, I would love that. And just shake your head. Mm -hmm. Just smile. Mm -hmm. Just shake your head. And just let them do all the talking. Hear them. Never listen to them. Just let the words just go in your ear. And don't think about anything that they are saying. Provide nothing to them. Unless... They are giving you something. And even then, don't... I'm sorry, doesn't that kind of sound like... Rostitution with a P at the beginning? <laughs> I'm just saying, that just sounds so odd to me. Provide anything to them. Listen, he is only coming to you for SEX, okay? That is the only reason why he is coming to you. So, that is all that you should give him. Only if you are getting what you want out of the deal. Good lord, I can't take it anymore. Stupid. I can't take it anymore. This woman's a career dancer trying to give dating advice. It's like, honey, you're attracting the wrong type of men from the jump. Too late. What? There's no way that you're ever going to get a man of quality or a man of value because men of value don't go to the strip club to find a wife. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Your husband, I need you to stop fucking around with those bitches and come find me. Hurry up. I'm tired of fucking waiting for you to be done with your fucking whole stage and find me. I'm tired. I don't want you to find me wrinkly. I want you to find me now. Where I'm nice. Like, hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. I don't want to be walking behind my kids because I'm so fucking old. I want to be running behind those little motherfuckers. Alright, she cussing too much for me. It's just when a lady... I just... I hate when women just curse like sailors. It's like, maybe when I'm kicking it with the boys, but maybe it's your potty mouth that, um... Is, you know, keeping the good men away from you. You guys notice I don't curse a lot. I just think there's a lot of other words to use besides dropping F-bombs. And Now, I'll curse every once in a while, but like, these women that talk like this, I'm just not a huge fan. It's a turnoff for me. Chat, let me know. Do you like women that curse a lot? I just don't like it. The reality is, is that if you are a woman and you want to date men, you have to accept that you will have to teach them and you will have to hold them accountable. And there are so many reasons for this, but I believe that the main reason is friendship. Women have so much more practice in elements of having a relationship than men do, because from a young age, we have access to vulnerability and intimacy and connection in a way that men do not get until their first partner. For most women, even when we are as young as like eight years old, we are learning about how to set boundaries we are learning about how to communicate because we have best friends because we are best friends with other women we are learning about what intimacy and connection means and even if you are dating a man with the best of intentions that is kind and that listens and when you rant about the patriarchy and how much men suck they agree with you and they're not defensive and they're so open to everything that you say it doesn't matter how good their intentions are you will always have to teach them i don't really feel like men can ever catch up to women like this definitely lessens as you get older like I'm 25 now so the dating range of men that I would engage with is like 25 to 30 and almost all of them will have had multiple relationships but if a man has had like two or three relationships from age 18 to 26 let's say how is that going to make up for 18 years of not having real practice with connection and communication honey you're assuming that every guy is emotionally immature what if a lot of these guys have done the work I think what she's saying is a blanket statement. Now, generalizations, I think, can be true in this regard. Um, but for the most part, I'm like, I, I was pretty emotionally mature. That's why I was able to pull women. <laughs> if I wasn't emotionally mature, I wouldn't have been able to pull chicks. So, like, I, I don't know. And I think the reason that girls can mature a little bit quicker, I guess, emotionally, is because they're allowed that space. As boys, we're like, toughen up. Oh, you cut your finger? Stop crying. Like, we don't even get that space communication and boundaries. I genuinely think that this societal idea of like women mature faster than men is not entirely innate. It's I do I do agree that women do mature faster than men, but I think they mature to the age of 14 and then stop. <laughs> like after 14, it's a wrap. Not entirely due to the nature of being a woman. So much of it is due to the fact that we are held accountable by close connections and close proximity to others from day one. And I feel like we're- Stop it. No, no. 
women are not held accountable. Chat, let me know what you think. Do you think women are held more accountable with close friends? No. Women change their environment to fit their mindset. Men change their mindset to fit their environment. Like, you ladies don't hold each other accountable. Bro, Cass has friends right now. She can't keep it a buck with them. She can't keep it real. But like us as guys, we keep it real with each other. And when guys are really close, what do we do? We riff on each other. We roast each other. That's a sign of endearment for guys is when we roast each other. When we're mean to each other, that means we like you. When we're nice to you, that means we don't like you. Chat, do you agree? Do you agree with that? Because I feel like the buddies that I'm the closest with, I absolutely rip them a new keister. <laughs> I straight roast them, give them the hardest time. But the guys that I'm like not that cool with, like I'm okay with them, like I'm very nice to those guys. But the guys that I'm really close with, like we just absolutely rip on each other. Seeing a societal trend right now of women refusing to date men, which I totally get, like it's something I've taken space of. But this whole idea of going boys sober, it sort of just perpetuates this, right? Because as long as we live in a society where men can only practice connection through their romantic connections with women, this is always going to be a problem. In the least pick me away possible. That's what it should be. How are you being romantic with your friends? Stupid. Romance should be between a man and a woman or a, whatever, your partner. How do you practice romance with a friend? It doesn't make any sense. Well, I feel like I have a lot of empathy for men and for the male experience. I've had male partners. I have, you know, a lot of male friends and I've talked about this with all of them. And I just don't think that this is something that can be solved easily on an individual level. Like even if you are a man that has the utmost awareness of this dilemma and really endeavors to solve issues with emotional vulnerability and intimacy, you can't like talk to a wall. Like you need other people to pursue friendship and connection the same way that you do. Men get so triggered on here when I use the word patriarchy, but this is what I mean when I say that the patriarchy hurts men just as much <laughs> as it hurts women. It perpetuates male loneliness because this idea that we have of masculinity- no, Men are just harder than women, dude. Like we get it, nobody's saving us. We don't need to live in this fragility. We don't need to be like, well, I hope that you wanna just hear me out. No, go talk to a wall and get over it, dude. We're men. That's why, like, do you know, do you realize how much violence and hardship had to happen for us to live this cush life that we live right now? So much hardship had to happen for us to have lights, for me to have a YouTube channel, to buy this suit, to put up the, the fake slat panels that I got from Target. Like, to have a dog that's domesticated. Like, so much violence had to happen for the patriarchy to be at this state right here. And you're thinking it's a bad thing? No, it's a good thing. This performative masculinity perpetuates male loneliness. And whilst women who date men are severely frustrated by this increasing lack of dateable men, I think it's because men have less practice with connection than ever before as capitalism is ramped up and community... I is love how, like... <laughs> approachable and dateable men somehow has some correlation with capitalism <laughs> and the patriarchy it's like honey you're just she's a runner she's a track star i just love it more and more disconnected than it's ever been before frustrating as this all is i do feel like women at least have each other they at least have the vulnerability of sisterhood the vulnerability of being able to safely be emotional whereas i feel like men are just getting lonelier and lonelier and lonelier and we're seeing like ramped up levels of incel culture and even violence i'm not at all making this video to excuse men for their poor behavior or to excuse them from taking accountability or to say that you should lower your standards when it comes to dating men you absolutely should not Stupid. i'm more just making it to say that the conversation as to why the dating landscape is so bad is multifaceted and stems from how lonely society has has become women have uh, i love how i love how in none of that did she say anything about the women <laughs> not one thing was about the women it was all men the patriarchy capitalism it's just all men 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 built the world but it's their fault that they built it so good it's like come on let's hop into the subreddit and see what we got oh my lord what is who is this from cultural news with a banger here former american <laughs> actress <laughs> actress <laughs> Riley Reed is currently happily married and joins the Lana Rhodes movement. She mentioned that she would like all her content to be deleted from the all the internet because she regrets her past and wants to regain her dignity and respect. She left everything behind and she has a new life. Well, here's the thing, honey. The internet's forever. You made your bed, now you gotta lay in it. I am so sorry. We just reacted to that, Edgeworthian. Solid, solid suggestion. 
Proof dating is more complicated than it needs to be. What happened to English words? Who are you? Woman, non-binary, man, agender, androgynous, bigender, gender. What is that? What even is that? This guy's a legend. What is this? How about you? Do you ever see a psychiatrist? Um, no. Oh, okay. That's not cool. Don't touch that's my phone. Michael, that's not I think I think Rihanna actually slapped Michael Sarah on that clip too. Ripley's believe it or not. Um, good lord, what is this one? Body um negativity? Sure is <laughs> Sure as H E double hockey sticks isn't bad women forget men have dating preferences. Um we'll save this one for another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. But Loki, did you have a good time today? Hope you guys had a good weekend, man. Happy Monday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.